Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I can't even remember them songs, but they probably on YouTube somewhere. Oh, oh yeah, you put, you put them out. To find yeah. that. Yeah, but so how long this been since since, since you've been rapping? Like, what era did you come in? Like, cause I know yeah. Florida went through waves. You feel me? Florida, for, all right. For I was trick daddy. The wave when Florida was like Florida when that music was going on. Like, I was there again. Like jump ju music and sticking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Piccolo. Mm -hmm. Shout out Piccolo. Rama's. You know. Wait. So who is DJ Rama? DJ Rama. Mm -hmm. and, you DJ Rama, mm -hmm. you know, that's that whatever Karen City is, DJ. That's oh. City Girl DJ. Oh, really? Uh, Does he go on tour with them right now? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time. He, ride, he down here right now for Roll Loud type mm -hmm. shit. So, what's your connection with him? Yeah. Oh, that's fam. Like, I met him a while ago, and um, he's on my remix, Bar Wall remix. Oh, right now, okay. You know, about the record back then. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, you know, when he in town, we leave. Oh, whoa. What's, what's that? That's a dance, It right? was a dance trend back then, mm -hmm. you know, me and my dog DJ goes to find other people. Mm -hmm. We put a little idea together, put a wave on the YouTube. That motherfucking video had like, almost like 10,000 views wow. in less than two days. And that shit started going crazy back then. So Bob Wall, yeah, that was a big thing. Like, it was in the NFL. What? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wait, like, what was it? It was on Fortnite, all kind of shit. What? What's the dance? Yeah. I don't know. You know, you the the ball, same one you just showed us? Okay, so I was like, damn, what's the name of it again? The ball? Wobble 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 on the, on the part of the strip club. So, um, who's Rick Brownlee? Rick Brownlee. What's his significance to Overlocko? That my cousin, cousin. That's oh. all I'm gonna say. Like, shit, he ran that chicken up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. okay. You know, <laughs> top down. Drugs. So, who was like running Overlocko when you was coming up? Well, I uh, see. All right. Like, who's the OG? Game related. Like, my era probably. Or, who, or even who had the most motion? Right. Had the most motion? Yeah. yeah. It was like, all right. They had some shit called 21 Jump Street. Yeah. Like the first year, they had that shit going on. And then, I was coming up with a 263 Bird game. Mm -hmm. That boy used to go to the mall drop. Right. Hunnings in the Mary Eagle. That's all they wore. Uh, yeah. They wore high school and shit. In between them all running yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? From what I remember. Yeah. Right. Even before that, I just don't know who, but they were running <laughs> that shit. You know, Vlogger had some motion. Niggas knew about Vlogger. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. So, uh, Talk to me about uh, a Briscoe, man, from Opalaka. Cause shout out to Briscoe, man. Nigga, yeah. nigga definitely said a a a a, 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 a wave like yeah. niggas don't even know like right. just having the records he had coming in with Wayne and different other big artists and yeah. That boy contributed to them open locker streets when Yeah, I'd I, I be mad that niggas like just write him off when he like gave a lot of niggas their style yeah, for first yeah, off yeah. and like right. that he had that like that Miami aggression before like it, mm -hmm. it like Trick Daddy did too, but yeah, Briscoe right. had like yeah, yeah you, you know what I'm saying. He was he was more like direct with it, you know. Briscoe was just like
So tell me some stories from back then, man. Yeah. That, that made you who you are today. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. It was coming out of high school, like 12th grade, I was tapping into the music and then I asked a few people about it. And then once I graduated, I got like good responses from like the people in school, but I used that for my motivation to go hard when I got graduated. So when I graduated, that's when my like singles came out like Bobble Wall finna hit my wall. So that's when it cranked up. Pretty much motivation right now. Too. Right. Mm -hmm. And um and shit. It bring a lot of memories, girls, all kind of mm -hmm. shit, you know what I'm saying? I used to play sports, I used to play basketball type shit. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I played for a little while. You used to hunch girls in the stairwell and shit? I ain't gonna lie, I want I want them type. I want okay. them type. You want the one? I took them home though, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You you wasn't reckless. Right. I wasn't too reckless. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you used to do like talent shows and shit like that? The funny part is I ain't do no talent shows. I did like Really? The, That's the, a good question. The, yeah. yeah. The most presentation I ever did was probably like a fucking project for the school mm -hmm. in front of the class. Yeah, actually, yeah. Right you weren't like a band major? What you nah, calling? I ain't do none of that but that basketball. Good, yeah, I, ain't good. Even do, I ain't performed no songs at my school. No? Damn, that's I saw I just about to ask you if you performed here since. I ain't performed here yet. Yeah. Not yet. I do it one day though. What was, your, what was your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject? I like the history. Cause like, yeah, I do want to know history. Like, how people move back then. Yeah, the, yeah facts. The names and how. So speaking of that, since you said that, I don't want to forget. Yeah. It's like, what do you feel about what they're doing with as far as Black history now? Yeah, where the they're they, yeah. they the slavery they're, shit. They're trying yeah. to yeah. Uh, basically make it like slavery was, was good okay. Thing, yeah. Right. For for we, Black people, was, they benefited. They learned they huge. learned skills. That's right. just so like, fucking so evil, So what do you bro? feel about that? Like trying to basically change our history. I feel like they downplaying it, and they always gonna downplay the Black people. Yeah. When they come to certain shit, because at the end they like with, with, with the Jews and the Indians, they getting their respect little by little. Right, little right, right, right. Reparations, you know, all types of stuff. Little reparations yeah. and shit. But it's like they trying to downplay the slavery. At the end of the day, we didn't because come Because of... Right, yeah. right, right, right. Off our, our will. Right. Mm -hmm. What was your first dance? Show us. Yeah. Oh. Show us your first dance. Oh, but you know, they... they, they <laughs> oh, 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 that was you? Yeah. That was you. That you started that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop oh, playing. I'm going to kick you. No, what? No, <laughs> that finna hit my wall. You know, new to old, old to new. I got all kind of shit. Right. I'm known for the dance vibes. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. So, so you were so, born in um Boston. Yeah, I was born in Boston. Okay. You know what I'm saying raised in Dade since I was like six, seven. I yeah. Around that time, type yeah. shit. What high school? I went to HMN Highland, Miami Lakes. That's the name of high school. High we don't know, Dave. We don't know. Right. Right. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a day school. It's like okay. a mixed school, like mostly Spanish, mm -hmm. but it was black. Okay, yeah. okay. So how was that different growing up in, I mean, being in Boston and then coming to Miami? Yeah, like, how was it different? Yeah. It was, the difference is off-river culture type shit. Mm -hmm. you know yeah, definitely. And, you know, Boston, I can't even lie, I can't even tell you what they on as far as music and all that shit, because it's been so long. It's different, I, yeah. I move, but down here, you know, Miami bass, loud shit, right, slide, right. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. DJ one, two shit. Like, I was still got a household name out here. Yeah, yeah. Like, people like using the drops, content, shit like that. So do you have people that work under you that maybe you're incorporating your moves or your critique on? I mean, like, I want to say shit? under me, but I work with like, I got my little team as far as management. And I just pretty much do like all my shit through me is like with videos, content. I just kind of try to come creative for certain right. stuff. Okay. I think that that's really a, a dope idea, um, what you said about the mixing the different, the like, Miami Genres and the Miami Man, yeah. I think that would be really, dope as really, well. If I, could, if I could get at least one or two, I yeah. know that shit can, like, really keep going. Yeah. You know, so who do you listen to, though, bro, when it comes to, like, the dance hall, man? Like, who you listening to? You know, I fuck with, I fuck with that nigga Squash. Yeah. Like, yeah, I like Squash. Yeah. I like Squash, yeah. I like Intense, I like Akalan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the female, the female dance hall is booming too. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Shansia, yeah. Shansia, she a monster. Jada Kingdom, yes, yes. They, like, they, they, could, they could do a little dance for you. Know what I'm saying, a little twerk dance, and have all the females out there. Doing it. Yeah. But um, you know, Zeke Dom, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Zeke Dom, yeah. 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 Yeah, but um, you know, Zeke Dom, Zeke Dom, White T, they big in the in the dance hall scene. They from Broward. 
I, I gotta check him out. Cause so I heard if y'all could link up, y'all might be able to do something. Cause he just made up a, a dance. I, I, I don't really remember know how it go or whatever. But I know it's like some shit and like everybody doing that shit in the club. Yeah, yeah. everybody doing that, that shit. Around. Yeah, every club you want to Yeah, Ziki done. Shout out to Ziki. Um, yeah, everybody on uh, TikTok and shit. They doing, they doing the uh, that dance. Like that shit. shit. Shit, they, they well, dude, they be like walking and they go like this, like they got yeah. their gun. But it's like a whole little routine. So it's like they do one move, they do another. Yeah, that's his well. shit or whatever. And so, how you got your start in dancing, then? Man, I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you my little secret sauce. When I was doing my thing out here in the streets, like yeah. this is what I still do. Nigga go to the SGA, the yeah. high school. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, Oh yeah, we can come do 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 do. I tell him who I am. I'm like, okay, yeah, come do Yeah. I did Marymount, I did CC, I did the West, I did, I did a little, little bit of all of these. But who did, man? Who did they know who you are? What do you mean by that? I mean, like, they knew like, who I was through the internet. Yeah. So crazy. <laughs> That's where this world shit. comes. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So what's DTL? DTL. Mm -hmm. You still um, represent that? Yeah. That that that's till I that's till I die. You know what I'm saying? That's in the chest. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay. But with that being said, DTL is like don't tolerate foolishness. Right. That's where I go by. Why you came up with that? Like in life, you know, when you're young and you're not highly on beat with other strategies as far as how people move and shit. You mm -hmm. young, you learning, how you grow. Man, don't tolerate no foolish just at the end of the day. You, you your own person, and right. you gotta stand on what you believe in as well, just like anybody else walking this earth. Right. So that's why I stand on like that detail, don't tolerate foolishness. Okay. So let's go back to that, because I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know what was going on with that um, 6 9 thing. Oh, what you, know you know wanna know? All right. Shit. That was from years ago when you were saying you were oh, um, sorry, suing sure. him. Right. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Did oh, you know? Oh, sure, man. <laughs> let's keep it a buck. He used a draw that he heard online with a right. soundcloud. And um, he talked to the certain people. Certain people got in contact with you. And them boys, you know, exchange out, you know, emails and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, heard about it, I was like, okay, I ain't even paying no mind. And when I seen it, I said, oh, that's how they use it. Right. But, you know, put it like this, it wasn't like he hollered at me himself and said, hey, let me see. Right, 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 right. right. It's on some like, he hollered at somebody else for me type shit. And yeah. it's like, it don't work like that type shit. So you know? did you ever talk to him or get in contact with him about it? Or I you never, never? Really spoke to that man in my life. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all know what it is for the culture, man. Breathe easy, street billboards, live and direct hosting and making the motion and having that motion, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tune in.